welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Jannie, and if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me again, and this one, it's kind of a haul as well. I got some new products from Ulta and Sephora, and I wanted to kind of do a wear test and share them with you guys. So um, I got some drugstore and then some stuff from Sephora. Um, I got some new, a couple new brushes that I want to try out, and I'm really excited to get started with you guys. And yeah, I'm really excited to film this for you. And let's jump on in. All right, guys. So let's get started. I already uh, cleansed my face. I just used a makeup wipe, and now I'm gonna be using this primer that I've been trying out from Sephora. And I've really been liking it. It's been helping with my pores and it helps keep my makeup on all day. It is the, I just have a little sample size right here. So it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer in the shade Neutralizing Translucent. So I've really been liking this primer. And this little sample's been lasting me a long ways, so. I mainly focus it around my nose and my cheeks because that's where I have the most pores that I need to cover. Put a little on my chin, a little on my forehead, kind of whatever's left over. Okay, so I'm using all my regular primers because I'm going to be trying out a new foundation today and I'm super excited. I've heard really, really good things about it and I hope I got the right shade because I ordered it online. I couldn't find it in store. So. It is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation, and I got the color Bisque, so hopefully it's the right shade. Um, oh, it has a pump, so that's really nice. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. It's a nice glass bottle. So, sorry, I'm going to get this stuff off my nail. Okay, so I'm going to be just using my Beauty Blender sponge. Typically, how I apply my foundation. Oh, it looks a little... Oh. It might be a little... The color might be a little orange. That's not good, because I'm more yellow-toned. But, you know, maybe... We'll give it a try. It might be way too dark. And I mean, I have concealer that can brighten things up, but. And especially, I'll be able to tell because I'm in natural light. No, I don't really be able to tell. The shade's gonna work or not. Hmm, smells. Doesn't smell bad. So it's a little orange. It's a little dark. Um, it's blending really nicely. almost like drying really fast. I mean, it is a matte foundation, but it's almost like drying super fast where I like can't blend it all the way. So maybe I'll just wait next time to apply, you know, certain areas at a time. It definitely is a little orange, but I think it's not too bad when you blend it out. And I think with powder and stuff, it might work just shows up on my hand like super orange okay so let me take a closer look it's kind of it's not really oh I just moved that <laughs> um it's not really it's not really covering around my nose very well or around my cheeks 
Um, let's see. I'm starting to bring my mirror closer so I can see here. It's kind of clinging. Oh, it dries down pretty well, which is good, which I like. I don't know. It's hard to tell first impression. So I'm just going to continue along with my regular routine and we'll throw in new products um, when I get them. Um, this is, I've had this for a little bit, but I would say it's still new in my collection. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I've been loving it. It covers really well. It blends out really well. Kind of pricey, but just so worth it. I think I talked about this in my last video, but what can I say? You know? If it's not broke, don't broke. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I'm just gonna blend this in. Ooh, the foundation definitely looks good with the concealer. not looking too orange so that's good we don't want orange foundation especially when you're yellow tone skin like me okay so next I'm just gonna bake um, all the products will be listed down below if I don't say what it is all right have a sip of my coffee in my cute little mug. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. Okay. So now I've been trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Soft Brown and I got the little brush that goes with it. So I'm just going to get some of the product out. So I got dark brown. And my brows are pretty dark anyway, but my hair is blonde. So I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure about the color yet. It might be too dark. But I'm still trying it out. And I have a receipt. I don't know what... I forget what Sephora's return policy is, but... I haven't had it for that long. So I'm gonna bring my mirror closer here so I can do my brows. See, it really keeps them set in place, which is nice. Um, and I'm loving the brush, too. The brush works really well. Just gotta get all the little hairs off of it. Um, it keeps everything looking natural and nice. So. All right, so brows are done. Next, I'm just gonna um, dust away that bake and apply some powder to set my foundation like I normally would. A little separation on my nose. So powder's on, bronzer, like I always do. I'll tell you when I'm testing out new products and I will name them, but Now this is just my normal routine. Okay, moving on to blush. If you guys are like I said, if you guys are curious about any products I'm using that I don't mention, they will be listed down below. Trying the Makeup Revolution 
Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. And if I can get it open here, I will show, show you what it looks like. Oh no, this is what it looks like. It's just a peachy white highlighter. Let's swatch it. Oh, it definitely has like a pearlescent undertone. So there's it on my hand. Definitely has, yeah, like a pinkish, bluish undertone, which I'm not sure I'm gonna like, but it looks really pretty, so let's try it. Normally I use more of a golden highlighter, but let's try it. it wasn't very expensive, so. Yeah, it definitely has a bluish tint to it which for every day is a little much, if you ask me. Ooh, ooh girl, ooh girl. Maybe I'll try out some of their other highlighters. Um, it says peach lights. I don't see any peach. That's just... My cute bow. Yeah, it definitely has like a bluish undertone to it. It's still really pretty though. Gives a nice highlight. left over on the brush. I just kind of bring it down my nose. Nothing crazy because I don't like a ton of highlight on my nose because it makes me look oily. Okay, let's see here. What is next? Well, face is done, so let's do eyeshadow. So I got these Catrice Liquid Metal Powder Eyeshadows with high pig pigmentation for extraordinary metallic shine. If I can get the package open here. There we go. Just went it out. Just rip it open. So it comes with, this little set comes with three of them. Um, it comes with a gold one called We Are the Champagnes. Uh, like a purple blue one. Mauves like Jagger. Clever. And this one, um, like a, kind of like a it doesn't have as much gold in it, so more of a champagne color without the gold. Um, it's called Under Treasure. I think... So I'm looking at my eyeshadow palette that I use, that I've been loving. It's by NYX, and it's just the ultimate shadow palette in warm neutrals. I've been obsessed with it, so... I'm just kind of looking and seeing... I kind of want to try... Well, because... Hmm... There's not really cool tones in here. However, I really want to try this one. The one that has, gosh dang it, it's little stickers. So now that I pretty much ruined it because I dug my finger into it, um, it looks like this. So I think we're gonna use this one today. I'm just gonna do, I also have two new brushes that I've been trying out. They're Morphe. Um, this is the Morphe M. Oops. There's the little. Okay, so this is the Morphe M5. So it's like a more tapered blending brush. So I think this will be good for really defining in that crease. And then I have the Morphe 506 brush, which pretty much looks the same, but it's a little bit smaller. So, and it looks like this. So, like I said, these will be listed down below. Oh, that highlighter though, girl. Okay, just kidding. So we're gonna take the Morphe 505, and I'm gonna just take a a light brown and pop that in my crease okay 
Okay, so now we're gonna take the Catrice Liquid Metal Eyeshadow in Under Treasure. Ooh. I'm taking it on a flat. So it said it's supposed to be liquid to powder is what it claims. Or not liquid, but it's very powdery. A lot of fallout. I mean, it's a pretty color though. It's not as pigmented as I would have wanted. Um, maybe I'll try it again with some Fix Plus and see if that kind of. I mean, I don't have it with me right now. I can go grab it, but see if that kind of amplifies the color. Because right now, if you look at it, I mean, it's pretty, but it's just kind of there. Like, there's nothing. I would have expected it to be a lot more. Like, looking at it in the pan, I would have expected it to be. I don't know. Maybe let's try a different brush. Sounds a little. Firm. This one's, I have another flat shader brush that's a little softer. I don't know. I'm really not that impressed. I'm kind of disappointed. Catrice, I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, because it claims liquid metal powder eyeshadows with high pigmentation for extraordinary metallic shine. Yeah, that looks just like any other eyeshadow that I could get um, in a palette or at the drugstore. Nothing too special. And it has a lot of fallout. Which luckily blends away, but still. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take the Morphe 506. And I'm actually gonna, there's this color in here that's like a dark, dark, you can't really tell, but it's a dark, dark purple. And I think to kind of mix up, ah, mix up the eye look a little bit, I'm gonna take some of that dark purple and just smudge it under my lash line here. Okay, so that kind of like adds a little something something to the look, I think. But still, I don't know, those eyeshadows I'm not that impressed with. Like they're okay, I don't know. Oh well, so I wouldn't recommend those. I will try them again with a um, Max Fix Plus to see if it kind of amplifies them, but overall, I wouldn't recommend them and they weren't that expensive either so I just wanted to try them out. Okay so next, ooh these look fancy. I'm gonna put on mascara here in just a second but I wanted to kind of play with, pull out these, I got these new lashes at Ulta. I'm excited about. I love the lashes, so I'm really excited about these. So these are the Kiss uh, Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection, and this is in the. Um, let me make sure. These are in the style Teddy. So let me let you guys see them. Oh my goodness. The band's pretty thick, so I think I'm gonna have to cut a little bit. But look at these babies. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, I do like to save the I like to save the little case so that I can put them back and they stay protected. I'm gonna go grab some scissors because I know I'm gonna need to cut them and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so this is with one coat of the Bad Gal Bang On, and I'm so impressed. Like, they look so good. I love them. I love, well, plus I have, I guess I have nicer lashes anyway, but anyway, not the point. So, let's see. Glue is drying, so I'm gonna put on, I'll show you guys, bring my mirror closer so I can see. I'm gonna put on one and um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. So I cut them down and we well, will see here. Right off the bat, the band's a little thick. They're definitely pretty. They're nice and um, they're nice and staggered, which is nice. Okay, so this is kind of what they look like. I'm gonna go put on the other one and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've got my lashes on. This is, I'll try and get closer here. This is what they look like. I love them. They're gorgeous. They're super staggered, which I like, and they're nice and long. I like them a lot. So last step is lipstick. This is NYX Lingerie Lip Matte Lip in a Cabaret Show. So I already have some chapstick on so I'm just gonna the finished look right here the lashes um, I'm the foundation is looking really good it's set really nicely it's not too orange right now I'm gonna kind of see how it wears throughout the day and hopefully it stays good because I like it so far um, it claims it's long wearing so we'll see about that but take my headband down here My natural, my natural hair. Okay, so this is the finished look. And I'll get kind of close so you guys can see the lashes. So the eyeshadow, nothing special, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed, but you know, it is what it is. So. You guys enjoyed watching oh focus there we go okay I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video my little Ulta and Sephora haul get ready with me trying out some new products so I hope that this inspires you to go try some of the same ones I did or try some new ones and let me know what some of your favorite new products are either at Sephora or at the drugstore so I can test them out leave them down below in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye. So indecisive what I'm saying.